And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day. It's the 25th of September 2023. We hope you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around something in the Asian session today. Of course, to close the week, we saw US markets being choppy on Friday. All the major indices closed slightly but now neutral as September appears to be following the historical norm. It is currently down around about 4% if we look at the S&P 500 on the back of interest rate issues, government funding and continued weaker data. It is Monday morning, however, a new week starts and we've seen the US future slightly higher in early Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed with the Nikkei outperforming. The ASX is trading around 0.4% down at this stage. European futures are also pointing to a lower open. Uh, the VIX was neutral on Friday after a higher week. The US dollar index hit six month highs on Friday. It's relatively neutral in Asia so far, a little bit choppy. Uh, gold remains range bound with the 200 EMA as support and copper is also holding support. All was up again on Friday, May test resistance, which essentially is last week's high. Bitcoin is lower, but just holds beneath that 200 MA. It is looking a little weak today so far in Asia. It's one to watch for sure. It is a very quiet day today. Today, there's not much going on at all that is going to likely to influence market sentiment. In terms of the weekly highlights, the US PCE data on Friday is going to be critical. That's the Fed's favorite inflation measure. And locally, the Australian inflation number, which is out later in the week, is also going to be important. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. If we look at TWE, Treasury of Wine Estates Limited, you can see they're still pushing hard up against this $12 level. We have actually tested it in today's trading. It is worthwhile being patient on this, but there's a nice upside here to possibly around this 1260 level if we can hold it and move forward. But around about 5%, so it's one to keep an eye to see where it closes towards the back end of the day. The Australian dollar has looked weak in the last hour. We can see here against the USD, it's breached this pivot level at 64.36. And looks as though it's heading down around about 30 pips to 64. That's a critical level. If we do start to test these lows from a couple of trading sessions ago, that could precipitate some more selling. So again, one to keep an eye on as the day progresses for a potential move to the downside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.